I'm Quinn McClinton, and you're watching Elegance on 18 Wheels, Big Rig Spotlight. Hey guys, it's Quinn, Elegance on 18 Wheels Magazine. Guys, you know, we've been doing some things a little bit different on the uh, Spotlight. Well, Dominique had actually introduced me to some really cool, cool vans, man, that you know, we do the really fancy rigs and we got all the bathrooms and all the other stuff in it. Well, he showed me some new vans that came online, man, here that actually floored me. And he told me he wanted to show me something one day. And I think that day has actually gotten here. But I'm down here in the heart of Indiana. And I think Dominique has got something to show me. And I want to show it to you. Dominique, come here, man. Fred. What's going on, buddy? Oh, not so much. <laughs> Man. So we talked about it a long time, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> you you brought me down here. Why why did you bring Elegance and 18 Wheels down here at this beautiful location? What are we looking at today? Oh uh, well today we're looking at one of the best looking vans I've ever seen. You know, we do a lot of special stuff. Trucks yes. are the only thing that we do. Yes. And uh, you know, me, I like to introduce people to people <laughs> and show off stuff. So, so that's why you're here. So what 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 exactly are we gonna be looking at here, man? So Ah. Some flyers for you. This is Midwest Automotive Designs. Um, they build a luxury camper traveler van. Um, there's wow. multiple different types, but you know, I'm not an expert on the van. I just like to make it pretty. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, look at <laughs> these are some bad vans. Man. So we need to actually go and look at some of these vans. And, and I got somebody to introduce you to, too. Uh oh. I'm excited. Guys, let's go take a look at some of these custom bands. This looks like this is going to be an exciting day. Thanks, Dominic. Let's go over and get Let's do it. location looking at some of the baddest fans man I have seen oh my goodness I am floored and as Dominic told us that he had some people that um, he was going to introduce us to that actually helped make this come to fruition so I'm gonna get Dominic back over here in just a little bit and we're gonna look at this bad boy that's behind me and we'll get a little bit more information on it but we'll be right back after this message I'm Quinn McClinton, and you're watching Elegance on 18 Wheels, Big Rig Spotlight. Well, guys, we're back. And like I told you, I got Dominic here. I'm bugging him again this week. And, but we it's don't cool. hang out enough, place. <laughs> I know. We got we to make this. We got to get together more often, Dominic. <laughs> and, but this time, Dominic's got something for us, man, that is, like I said, it's dear to me because I am floored by this. Dominic, tell me a little bit. We walked out there, I saw the Ben sitting mm -hmm. out there, and now I got this big Ford behind me. What, what is the scope of this? What, what, where are we? Well, all right, I'll tell you my scope, right? So, obviously we got the Ford back here, and it's not very shiny, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is actually a matte hair coat application. This is one of the bands that we painted. Okay. That's where I get involved with these guys. Okay. But, you know, just like with ARI, I don't do the meat and potatoes with these things. Right. Somebody else does that. Right. It makes it pretty on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> And that you do well. <laughs> so who around this facility would be the person to contact that we need to talk to about getting a tour of one of these luxury vans? I'm excited you asked. So, Ron Preston. What's up, Quinn? Ron. <laughs> What's up, Ron? Why are you going to go How you doing? How you doing? Good, buddy. Well, Ron, I need you to help me out here. Yes. Uh, I got introduced to your application of these luxury vans. Sure. And I was floored. Yeah. Can you introduce my audience to why we're here instead of talking about big rigs, we're talking yeah. about one of these big vans? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, so yeah. CRS, we've done business with them forever now. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, they're our number one paint supplier when it comes to these custom vans. Yep. Um, we do all the tiny luxury sprinter vans. But yeah. what you see behind us is a Ford. Yes. This is something we're diving into. Um, the highest end for that new 3.5 Eco Boost, all wheel drive, beautiful interior, you know, as we always, that's what we're known for here at Midwest Auto mm -hmm. Designs. Okay. Um, 
But uh, yeah, we're gonna go through it. You know, obviously Sarah did a beautiful paint job on the yes. outside of the yes. Just yes. gorgeous. Um, this unit right here is heading to Dallas, Texas. So it's gonna be a little hot, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna get the shot here, take a look at it before it makes the journey home. Okay? But I tell you what guys, we'll be right back. I'm gonna have Ron walk us through this. And we've got, even got a customer that has one of these bad boys. We're gonna talk to him first hand. So guys, we'll be right back. It's Quinn, Elegance and 18 Wheels Magazine. We'll see you in a second. All right, so, Ron, yep. man, this is this is my opportunity, man. You knock me on, knock me to the floor outside. Show me what makes this baby the heart of the industry here. Sure, sure. Um, so we're standing right now in front of our Ford Patriot. Okay. Okay. Like I said, the majority of what we do is Mercedes Benz. Okay. So this is kind of rare, and not only is it rare, it's got a beautiful paint job, like you said. Uh -huh. But let's take a look here. What well, Midwest does best. All right. So we have our own upholstery department here. Mm -hmm. So we wrap the front seats, all the furniture in the back is all custom done here at Midwest Auto Designs. Okay. And another great thing about us is, look at this wood here, Quinn. So that woodwork is all done in-house as well. This is what we call hydrographing. It's a 19 step process. Wow. What it does is it makes it durable, it makes it lightweight, and also it has to be durable for RVs. You know, this may be a beautiful coach, uh -huh. but the thing is, it's still an RV. And we'll talk to uh, uh, my favorite customer and owner later that's going to talk more about why it has to be durable, with all the uh, great ventures he's going on. Ron, can we go up in? Yeah, come on in. Let's it's go in there. In. Now, before I jump in here, I just do want to say I am 6'5", okay? All right? So <laughs> okay. I'm a big guy in a little van, but come on in. <laughs> Outstanding. Okay. So what do we got here, Quinn? We have a full RV. So we have all the amenities you're gonna find in a big giant class A motorhome. Okay. But this thing's gonna drive like a sports car. Ah. All right. So we got our sink, we have the induction stove top, we have our high-end dovetail drawers here. We have microwave here. We have a dual door refrigerator. Here's your shower and your sink. And that's a little difficult in there, but you can get a look. And then that teak flower uh, floor mat. Wow. Yeah. So it Outstanding. makes truly the, all the RV amenities you'd ever want. Okay. Okay. Then we have a sofa back here that folds down into a bed, big enough for even myself. <laughs> um, we have what's really cool, Quinn, this has a lithium system on board. Okay, uh -huh. not a generator. So its main source of power back here is uh -huh. from a lithium system, and that powers the AC, the lighting, all of your amenities. And that's charged up by the motor ah. or plugged in or solar power. We have all those items on board. So this is definitely not just a, a looker, but it technologically very luxurious as well. Another thing Quinn here too, we have massage seating, seat heat for the driver passenger. Mm -hmm. It's the only what we call class B motor home that has those items. Wow. Um, like I said, we just go all out here at Midwest Amo Designs. And Right, I am floored by the the stitching in the seats <laughs> and and all the 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 amenities that you have implemented into this. This is yes. what what kind of customer would want something like this? Who who yeah. who do you cater to? You know, it, it's for a gentleman that's done the class A's. They've okay. done the class A's, typically the higher end of both models. Gotcha. Okay. And they're looking for something, knowing the experience. It's easy to travel with. Can mm. boon dog can go anywhere, can go into the inner cities, you know, the concrete jungles, not right. just the forest, right. to enjoy dinner with their wife. Awesome. And, and that's what this vehicle gives you. You know, you don't have to plan in advance, it's freedom. Uh -huh. And uh, the drivability is obviously amazing. You know, now we're a steel structure, not a fiberglass rear shell. I know your truck audience can appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And it, it, the, just the drivability of it is just phenomenal. I mean, uh, I'm sure, you know, if, if you're a truck driver out there, you have probably drove a Mercedes Sprinter once in your lifetime. Exactly. Uh, driving it around. Yeah. They drive phenomenally. And, and you know, we see them on the highway going 90 mile an hour all the time. <laughs> so you know they get up to speed too. So um, this is just for the person, I, I would say freedom, but doesn't want to give up that luxury. Gotcha. So Ron, man, like you said, you're you're six five, man. Yes. So. I'm looking at the comfort around you, and it's like you're fitting in this this application really, really well, man. Um, we have a numerous amount of customers. Even the owner we'll talk to later is a tall individual. Okay. And sometimes we just gravitate towards just the freedom to be able to move, and we we fit pretty well in this. I mean, yes. the Ford here is six four in height. Mm -hmm. The uh, interior of the Mercedes is six two, so a little hunch in our backs, nothing too crazy. Yeah. And then here's the biggest benefit. 
oh, I can still lay down. Here. <laughs> so, so yes. we, we make all the room for everybody here. And that you have. And I am truly, truly amazed at the comfort and the, 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 the amenities that's associated with this. Now, of course, this is one of the things that, that a lot of our, our clients are going to ask us. Sure. Ron, what kind of price tag are we looking at for something like this? Yeah, sure. So MSRP on this coach right here is going to be near that two mark. Okay. okay. It, okay. It, all this does come at a price. You know, right, and right. our Mercedes can go anywhere up to about 280. Honestly, if you add the error ride, all these items. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, you can also get them for uh, about 160. You know, to 180. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. it, those still exist. But obviously, with the CRS beautiful paint job, um, a few of the other items in here, it drove it up a little bit. Yes. And like I said, this is the top end of luxury and comfort, <laughs> and RVing is where it's at with this. Sure. We're going to step back outside right, and look at the exterior a little bit and look at this application from the rear looking inward yeah. and um, give the people the a little shot, bit of really. another perspective of this. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll be right back. This is Quinn, Elegance and 18 Wheels Magazine. Stick with us. We got more to come. I'm Quinn McClinton, and you're watching Elegance on 18 Wheels Big Rig Spotlight. So, Ron. Yeah. Man, you you were talking on the inside about how how beautiful the exterior of this van is. It's got awnings, it's got lighting system, the the glass is is smoked. This is absolutely killer, man. Beautiful. But beautiful. you said you had a different perspective you wanted to show me. Yeah, correct? no, when this is my favorite shot, and, okay. and it's when the back doors are open, you can see directly inside the van and just see everything all at once. Oh wow! You know, especially when it comes to camera, you know, you're moving around inside all the time. But this gives you a shot of everything. I see. Oh my goodness! Look at that, guys. Constantly I entertain the jail. You know what I mean? We have the jail audio system in here. We got the smart TV. It, it's it's a nice place to be. It is absolutely stunning from front to back. And you know, Ron, you were going to show me how comfortable it is actually sitting in the cab of this unit too. Yeah. Let's take a look at how uh, with a gentleman your size sitting in a comfortable situation behind the wheel of a, a I, unit I like this. I am the tester around here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at that. Take a look. <laughs> you know, I was wondering where Dominic went. I know. I what, found what? him over here What's in his up, mobile bro? office. Yeah. What's up, what buddy? else am I gonna do, man? man. <laughs> spot to chill. Yeah. Yeah. We got our beautiful ginseng interior here. This is one of our new 2024 Patriots. Ah. Dominic's got good taste, as always. <laughs> he knows what's the best. Contrast. <laughs> that is really, what is really. That? that is really, really cool application, Dominic. Look at that, man. Uh huh. I'm telling you, you now, gotta get yourself one. I, stop teasing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I also wanted to show you here some of the RV amenities. You know, we had it so hidden on the other side. Yes. But over here, you do see some things going on. So we have our 30 amp Shoreline plug-in, just like any oh, wow. other RV. Okay. We have a gas-powered furnace and instant hot water heater exhaust there, burning ah. gasoline from the okay. motor's fuel tank. Cool. Clever, right? Cool. And then we have our water connections and some sandy flushes that clean out your tanks. Uh huh. And then what's really nice and hidden underneath, again, this beautiful paint job here, we have a duck valve. So that's all your Ucky black tank and gray tank. Again, you can't drive away from the idea that it's still an RV. It's still an RV. You know, but uh, that's one of those nice things uh, that you have to have, but it's nice to have it there. Um, before we go in here and show that front cabin like we were talking about. Okay. CRS did with these uh, Ford rims. Oh wow! I mean, it just really added to this part of this uh, vehicle. That is stunning. All right, let's see if my big butt can fit. <laughs> you know, it's not too bad. You know? That's that it, looks comfortable. If anybody that has a uh, you know Platinum F one fifty knows all about these three point five EcoBoost motors. Yep, they're tanks, and yes. now you got one in a van too. So we, we're screaming here. <laughs> One, right, two. This is, man, I am floored by this. This is absolutely stunning, man, with all the amenities. And oh, yeah. you just turned the system on here and, and give us a little walkthrough of, of what all. Yeah, so, you know, just like in your new, like I said, F-150 Platinum, your Expedition, all those high-end Fords, your F-250s, 350s, mm -hmm. it's the new Sync 4 system. Uh -huh. So your adaptive cruise control, your blind spot assist, all those great amenities you got so custom doing, uh, using are all in this coach as well. Wow. So that's pretty nice. And, and Quinn, I, I know this is a little tight to see, 
but we also have our controls for the rear of the coach via touch screen ah oh yeah it's it's all high it end here. is absolutely <laughs> high end and absolutely and, luxurious and, and while, while you're down there too i just wanted to show just like just something a little extra mm -hmm. you know we also diamond stitch the top of the uh, cladding here love yes you did yes i love that yeah so uh that, that's just another little feature like i said we go beyond the call of duty um but you are paying for that too now Ron, one thing i want to emphasize is you do this whole application from start to finish correct this is in-house yes this is not someone brought this in you built this yeah no 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 so we order our chassis from ford or mercedes okay okay um, we do all of our own seating in-house uh, can't say that about any other class b manufacturer we do all of our own woodwork in-house okay. and the reason why is because midwest auto design's history is building executive personal use limo vans uh -huh. okay so okay. People would call in saying, hey, this is what I need. And we've built it exactly the way they wanted it. Mm -hmm. And now we've grown to a point where they got to be set to a certain floor plan, those sort of things. But those shops, those individual shops we had that could do anything, mm -hmm. they just grew with the company. Ah. So that's something very unique. Like I said, these skins are from our shop. That's why everything looks like it belongs together and matches. Yes, and, yes. And fit and finish, obviously, with that is able to be controlled by us, making it more superior over anybody else's product. And I, we're going to take an opportunity to talk to one of your customers and um, take in uh, everything that he has to say about this as well. Why don't yeah. we run over and uh, meet him? That sounds great. Awesome. So, guys, like I was saying, we're, we're down here with Ron. He's going to introduce us to someone that actually owns one of these beautiful bands. Ron, who do you have in mind? I have Carl here. He, he's one of my favorite owners. Okay. Um, he actually uses it, too. Is that, is that just something that's put in his garage that he never <laughs> uses? No. This man sleeps in 150 nights a year. Oh, okay? wow. So half the year, he's actually using it and having fun and, and ah. enjoying that van life, that freedom and luxury. And here he is right now. This is Carl. My buddy. <laughs> Beautiful band, by the way. <laughs> so, Carl, good to meet you, sir. Tell us what it's like to be in the owner's seat of a unit like this. You know, I love it. I, I, I'm like you. I was a former class A owner, had a big rig, and it's pretty painful. It's painful to find a place. This you work anywhere. Okay. So, if you can boot dock anywhere, I'm in about, about 150 nights a year. I really use my van. I love it. Okay. I work from it too. So you probably saw you turn these seats around. Yep. So yep. I have my office up front here with my virtual team's meetings. My wife's in the back enjoying herself. And so we could be, we just spent the summer up in Michigan. Because of gorgeous up here. Yeah. Gorgeous. And we'll spend the winter down in uh, Key West. We're about to leave from here. It sounds like the life, doesn't it? <laughs> it when does. It absolutely it's does. Bad. It's we not bad. Two on next. <laughs> when you get two new leads, you can have one too. <laughs> Right now, we're headed up to North Dakota. Okay. We're here in Elkhart now because we just, Ron has been gracious enough, giving it up, to allow us to do owner's rallies. We do a four year. Okay. It's called the Mad About You Tour Plan. Okay. And so, what we do is uh, we come four times a year here, we're in Elkhart. Four days, then about 52 vans. Amazing customer service. They brought their techs over, Firefly techs, all their yep. vendor techs over, yep. van to van, teaching people how to use the van, fixing issues. To me, frankly, the most incredible thing is the fact that they bring parts with them. So if you're in warranty or not under warranty, you come to one of our rallies, they fix it for free. And I don't know anybody else that does that, including when I bought a half million dollar rig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, I really use this. So what I love about it is, um, you talk about the lithium package. Yep. And that's a game changer in your world. Okay. For a couple of reasons. Number one is if you have a dog or a cat, and you want to go for a day hike, you can put your dog or cat in the van, Turn your batteries on, and you're safe. You're comfortable that your batteries last all day long. Ah. Really safe. It's really important for that. That was my first choice. Frankly, the reason we bought this particular van, though, is for luxury, right? We spent two years in COVID looking at every single van. We've been RV for 12 years, so we kind of know what to look like. Yep. And if you look at the appointments in this RV, they are significantly different. It's stitching on the seats, comfortable. The wood is made here and by here. The wood is made here. It's dipped here. So if you look at the tour, there are dovetails. You don't have to pull out like in my very expensive van. Yeah. It comes out with nails. Yep. Um, it has its own internet access, its own cradle mm -hmm. point, so I can run my business. Um, I do think the bed is big enough. I'm 6'4", <laughs> yeah. and it's a no, little no, longer no. than me. <laughs> These are too tall and it's the van life. Right? 
I was his height, so I got my two knees. I lost it. I was his height at one point. But it's, it's a wonderful life. So what we do is we'll go into a, a Harvest Host site or off the prairie land or someplace or a campground. We do those campgrounds, frankly, because we don't need to. I need about every four or five days to get water and dump. So why don't I want to sit and look at people with this stuff versus looking at a campground? I don't even see what a campground looks like. Yeah. So yeah. that's what the van life to me is all about is freedom, knocking it out. Give me an example. I'm leaving today, head to North Dakota. I'm going to drive the entire prairie up the whole way to Washington State. I'm four or five boondocking sites and then one place to dump and keep moving. The reason I want the lift impact in my mind, why I did it is the entire thing is 12 volts. So the air conditioner is 12 volt, everything works the same, so you're not having to lose energy. And of course, the big thing boondocking is as you're driving along, it'll charge your batteries. Ah, so okay. It's, it's, and uh, Ron, yeah. not Ron. Well, right now we're in your actual service department. <laughs> That's why we get a lot of the service yeah, noises yeah, no, and stuff no, no, that's going no, on right now. No, I was just talking to Carl, maybe he'd mention it, um, about his band's in here right now. He called in this morning, okay? He says, hey, I got a busted valve. He's getting a new water tank same day, and he's hitting the road. Ah. So his plans have not changed at all <laughs> with our little, I'll call it luxury service. So, so Carl, you actually run a site that someone, that, other RVers can actually get on board and um, follow you on, correct? We have a couple different Facebook pages. Uh, it's called the Mad, Mad About You Tour, M A D Midwest Automotive Design. Mad About You Tour on Facebook. We have one for Rally Go. If you want to go to one of the rallies, we've got two more this year. Okay. Camp Margaritaville. We have a YouTube channel too. It's small, but it's all about quick fixes, packs, modifications. What's cool? So now you're really great if you can kind of crawl with an iPhone. Yep. But if you're out in the boonies and I can't fix this, yes. if you access the internet, you can probably get that fixed. I've got 57 videos out there. I'm sure <laughs> how to fix or other people said to me how to fix it. Although, oh, Frank, I don't get hurt. Carl's videos are fantastic. For, for anybody who's a brand new owner or anything like that, the user experience, you should be able to lean on Carl's page. Yes. And it's, it's wonderful, really. Uh, it, it's what he's doing. He's also going to start doing some journey videos as well, showing what, what's real life. And guys, what we're going to do, I'm going to get all that information. We're going to have it right down below. And yeah. guys, as you see the link down here, go to that link, follow, follow Carl. Follow and this he's man is very talented, very smart, and he's a lot of fun. And guys, we're going to let you get back to following Carl. And we're going to let this get gentlemen. They got a lot going on here, guys. It is a lot. It goes around and around and around. So thank you guys. We're getting ready to get out of your hair, but thank you for this awesome introduction. And I am floored. And maybe one of these days, Elegance 19 Wheels is going to have to have one of these uh, touring around with our uh, team yeah. of you photographers. Better, you better come on back. You need, you need <laughs> more details. Go for everything. Okay? Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Because I would love to take a tour of the whole plant and let the audience see what is actually behind the creating of a beautiful rig like this. Guys, this is Quinn, Elegance 18 Wheels Magazine. We'll see you real soon.
Dominic, man, thank you so very much oh, for the of introduction. Course, of course, this I hope was, I left you wanting a little bit more. Oh man, we, we've got an invitation to do a tour that I'm, 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 I'm dying to do. And I hope you guys like something a little bit different this time because like I said, the finishes and everything that are on these beautiful vehicles are done by Dominic. And this is absolutely beautiful the way they got everything done here. You know, so, we only work with the best. Only the best. And guys, this says a lot. We're out of here. We hope you liked the episode, and we'll see you next time. Awesome, Valerie. Thank you, Quinn. All right.